Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and a few people asked me if I would be willing and able, and I am both of those things, to share uh, my note-taking process and some of the procedures that I did while I was taking my OSCP, or Offensive Security Certified Professional. So I want to put together a quick haphazard video, like all my videos are, and uh, showcase some of that stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is just fire up a little GitHub or GitLab repository. I'm going to use GitLab because I like it to be private, and I think you should too, especially if these are going to be your notes here. So I'm just going to go to gitlab.com. I'll quickly sign in. Uh, I'm using LastPass, so it'll just crank through username and password. Super simple, super easy. That's good stuff. And I want to hit that new project button up on the top right. I've seen this take a little bit of time to load, and I don't know why right now. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. Okay, cool. Here we are on gitlab.com slash projects slash new. So we can give a name to our project. I'll just call mine OSCP with two E's, so it's cool and clever. And that way it's not the same as one that I already have. So you can give a little project description. These are my notes and resources for, well, I, well, I don't know why my mouse is like flashing. Is it doing that for you guys too? Sorry. Well, I was taking OSCP. Cool. And we can go ahead and create that project. Super easy. Cool. So now we have that URL, and we can work with it on the command line, which is where the better stuff actually happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to git clone that repository. If you don't have git, uh, if you're on Arch, you should just be able to yay, tack, s, install. Uh, don't actually use the word install, but yay, tack, s, git, or pseudo pacman, if you have any set, set up any aliases for that, blah, blah, blah. Or if you're on Ubuntu or some other, maybe... Debian based uh, install distribution where you just have apt as your package manager, you can apt install git. So now I will cd into that directory and now we just have this as our workspace. So I'm going to use vim as my editor here. I'll just create a little uh, OSCP notes and what I like to do when I create things like this is I'll just put my name and the date. Was it October 6th? Yeah. Some notes here. I'll be like these are all my notes. And we crank through that. Okay, so I could just do a little git add, git commit, added initial readme, save that, and let's pump that to the repository. I'll just do a little git push here. I don't have my SSH keys put together with GitLab, and I totally should. I'm kind of a failure in that regard, but okay. Now if I were to refresh that, we could see my commit and my notes are in there, and I could fill that out as I needed to. Um, that's super handy, because that way now any pictures, screenshots that you save, just throw in this repository, git add, git commit, throw it up there, and then you have a cloud backup, right, in the sense that now all of your notes are in another remote location, so if you happen to be working elsewhere and you've got some opportunity, you've got some time, you can just crank through some work, and uh, you have a backup, right, that way you can go back, a little bit of version control, see some other notes that you may have left there previously. So, uh, another individuals, I think it asked me for, uh, how do I actually convert my markdown into a PDF? And the way that I had done that was with OSCP uh, markdown to PDF. I think I shared the link in that previous video. No Raj had a little template for it. And this was super awesome. And I shared this and wanted to showcase it. This is a good template for creating the your exam report or your lab report, whatever you want to end up creating, just keep it simple, keep it easy in Markdown and being able to work with it. So you'll need Pandoc and you'll need LaTeX and this EIS Vogel or Icevogel.tech, I think it's a little sty styling there. I'm not entirely too hot on some of the Pandoc stuff, but then you could just run this command to quickly generate your PDF. So I will show you how I set that up and I'll try and showcase some of my notes here. But that all, all that stuff comes from this Ice Vogel repository here. So you need that icevogel.tech file present in what you're going to actually be working with. So I will show you that in what my old setup was. I'll go to PWK OSCP and there are my notes and some information that I kept track of here. So uh, I would work with Pandoc, and again, yay, tack capital S to install that, and then I needed text live, tack most, in the case of Arch. I think, I don't know if that will go ahead and install core and bin, 
but I added those before I added most, so I'm not sure which of those is particularly necessary. To be able to make my quick, simple, generate report.sh script run quickly and easily. Um, let me actually just go take this example repository here, so I don't accidentally show you anything uh, that I didn't want to previously. Let me... I'll just get cloned in this current directory, so that works just fine. Nice and easy. Now I have that OSCP exam report markdown directory here. Okay, so I could take one of these example markdown uh, files, which I'll check out here, and you can see, nice, give a little title, give a little author, give some information there, and fill out between the paragraphs and the sections that you would want to fill out according to the machines that you broke into, right? According to the exercises and the questions that you wanted to showcase. Uh, I'm not actually going to showcase mine because obviously that still has the actual content in there and I'm going to respect offensive security's wishes and not leak that information, fingers crossed. Uh, so that's how you can do this super simple, super easy in Markdown. Just type as you need to, add whatever information you want. Um, these are more explanations and details, blah, blah, blah. And then we can actually go ahead and generate that output. Yeah, let me out, Jim. So what I'm going to do is just move my generate report script into that directory, and I'll show you that in action. Exam report. Okay, cool. Great. What this generate report script is, is super small, super simple, just a wrapper around that pandoc command, because I didn't want to keep typing that and running that over and over and over again. Uh, I just take the argument and bring it out to a PDF file, and I note that in some usage up here, so input.markdown and output.pdf, and I move that icevogel LaTeX file into the directory that needs to be in, if for whatever reason that's not already in place on the machine, because uh, I had that issue when I was working on another uh, work machine that I wanted to get spun up on. And then if that command to generate the PDF ran successfully, I would simply show the PDF with Evans. So let's try that. What I'm going to do is just run my generate report script. Let's use the OSCP exam report templates, who is Flynn, because I like that one better, dot markdown, and let's just say example.pdf. So give a little bit of some time, just a quick second here, and suddenly that will just pop out, here's your penetration test, here's your lab report, here's your exam report, whatever you wanted to put together. And it's all of that same text that you've already seen, now just in that beautiful, easy breezy, beautiful cover girl uh, display. So you can submit that over to Offensive Security. Nice and easy, right? That's super cool. Let me close out of that, and I'll show you some of the other stuff that I had in here, because uh, originally, you do need to submit your exam report and lab report as part of a 7-zip package, and with your password and uh, offensive security ID all bundled in there, and I didn't want to get any of that wrong, so I made a quick little script that would do that, bundle it all in, and it would include the files that I created as necessary. That way, it, it runs the 7-zip command with all those variables and passwords and everything in place, and I don't need to accidentally get that wrong or have a typo, because that would be devastating, and they would not grade my... <laughs> not grade the exam and I would have completely failed. So that sucks. Trying to avoid that. So that is my generate report.sh script. That is the markdown PDF thing that I used. That is how to create it in a simple text editor. I used to use Sublime. Now I'm trying to get into Vim, Tmux, and Arch Linux and all that fancy stuff. Um, now I want to showcase some of the other notes that I took because those might be handy to you. Um, one thing that I noted was I had a Windows wget that I had found online. It's just a simple Visual Basic script that I wanted to take note of and keep track of it in case you ever got on a Windows machine and you need to be able to download things or download some stuff from your host or other privilege escalation scripts that you might be using, etc., etc. That's this syntax right here. I'm happy to share that. And you would just simply run it with Cscript, which you would normally be able to run and use just fine. Um, I didn't end up using this all that much because I was on Lolbins, and that is, you've probably seen it before on the GTFO bin side, and you may very well have seen this one, Lolbass, the living off the land, binaries and scripts. This one is strictly for Windows. They do have a better website for this now. 
You can check this out. If you were to search for any of the commands that you're able to run on that target machine or the victim that you're working with, you might be able to do interesting things with them, like download files or encode and decode some different data streams or read files or write to files, etc., etc. So normally I use certutil, which is pretty handy dandy for getting us a quick download. They have a simple syntax here to be able to download files if you're on that Windows host. Um, sometimes this wouldn't work for me, so another one that I found uh, was actually Extract, I think, Extract32. That will still download as well. Take a look at that guy. Issue is that needs to be kind of hosted. That file that you need to be able to download needs to be available on an SMB share. So you could spin that up with Impacket if you wanted to. And uh, I can showcase that if you guys particularly need me to. But it's a good, quick, and easy way. Download that file and impact it. You can host it from your Kali machine or whatever attacker machine you're using. So that's that. But uh, that came from my notion of this Windows WGET that I tried to keep track of. So, Other notes that I had, things that I was just trying to keep in the back of my mind as part of my preparation, um, some Windows privilege escalation stuff. Um, a lot of these resources I found with YouTube and some information or some other people's uh, writings and articles and blogs. Uh, I tried to follow that slash r OSCP or that r slash OSCP subreddit. There's a lot of good information that flows through there all the time, so I monitored that a lot. And some of these uh, repositories were pretty great for actually keeping track of that information. Let me just show you that real quick. This guy had some good notes. And it would honestly always boil down to just basic enumeration basic, uh, hey, what programs are installed, etc., etc. But this YouTube series was phenomenal, and I always forget this guy's name, and I always fail at pronouncing it one way or the other, but he has phenomenal videos, quick, super, super short, uh, super sh simple, I'm saying lots of S words, <laughs> tripping over my tongue here, for quick techniques and tactics for Windows uh, privilege escalation, which you might want in the back of your head, but a lot of times it just kind of boils down to the basic enumeration. So, handy. I would showcase that as well. And I took notes on, like, each section of this. Like, what of these... How do I do this in reality? How's, what's my quick uh, notes and reference that I can just copy and paste commands or, or tweak and adjust as needed? And I do that with a lot of things. Vim Linux Privesk? Okay, I didn't actually have really anything worthwhile in here. Dirty Cow, Rational Love, some simple like kernel exploits, things that you could take advantage of. Again, I didn't have as much mileage with that uh, when I got to game time, but for maybe the practice environment, those could come in handy if you're, if you're scraping at straws. So that's handy. That's good for us. And that is how I would simply generate things. Um, I would showcase the cover, I guess, of my PDF here for us. Um, OSCP OS, that guy. And these are the labs that I worked through, right? But I'm not going to show you this entire document. But you can see there's 243 pages there. I had a huge lab report and my exam page. Um, I think that one was also hefty. Oh, I opened that with I have no, my bad. I literally yelled at myself in my head for doing that earlier. So, and then I just had a little bit of a different display for the exam. So that's that. That's all that I really ended up doing. Use Vim or Sublime Text or whatever text editor that you know and love. Run through your stuff, like jam out whatever you've been working with. Because it's in a simple text editor, it's nice and easy to just write everything that you're already working on, document as you go, and then use that simple, maybe uh, generate report script and did I move that thing? I may have I may have moved that like a fool. This is super duper handy and I found that really simple and easy just wrapping around that pan dot command and being able to generate that PDF as quickly as I can. So I'm happy to share this code. I hope this kind of helps showcase a little bit of my methodology and some other resources and assets that I would use and work with. So please let me know if there's more you want to see that I can realistically show you, right? I'm not, I'm not do, trying to do anything bad here, but I want to let you into my mind and my methodology for how I was able to burn through some of this stuff. So mark down a PDF, use a text editor, document as you go along, write down everything you can, take screenshots, throw it in your nice cloud backup and simple repository to keep track of stuff, OSCPE. 
<laughs> so, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to see you guys in the next video. Love to see you on Discord. Join the server. There's a link in the description. Love to see you on Patreon. Love to see you on PayPal. Just would love to see you at a conference, at B-Sides, at DEF CON. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.